the lovers, the dreamers, and me. There may be a longevity record in the making here. Very few, if any, frogs reach the age of 25. Yet Kermit, the jolly green Muppet star, is at least that old and can reasonably expect to be around another 25 years. Like many celebrities, he came from humble beginnings. The first Kermit was tailored from the cloth of a coat belonging to Jim Henson's mother. That figure and other original Muppets were first seen on Washington, D.C. TV in 1955. They're on display now at the Museum of Science and Industry. Tonight, someone you should know is their co-creator. She's Jim Henson's uh, wife, Jane, <laughs> who tells us that of all the Muppets, her favorite and, is Kermit. Um, Kermit does in many ways occupy the same kind of position in the group on television that Jim does in, in real life behind the cameras. It, Kermit tries to keep everything together in spite of the fact that it's, everything's going off in different directions and a little bit chaotic, and he likes to feel that he's pulling it all together and keeping a sanity going. Hampson and his wife were students at the University of Maryland when the first Muppet show aired. Later, as a regular part of the Sesame Street program, they achieved international fame. Interestingly, the original Muppet programs were developed for adult audiences. But with Sesame Street, special characters were conceived for young children. The display of Muppet Mania at the museum fills up a two-story exhibition area and chronicles the history of the characters, but also includes a brief stint on Saturday Night Live. Among the favorites of the Muppet Show, the current series aimed at audiences of all ages, is Miss Piggy, who also hey, starred in the I Muppet movie. Run, pig. Why should I? Because in 10 seconds, he won't know you from kosher bacon. That does it! <laughs> A pig that goes bananas? What is this, a luau? Or someone Jane Henson recalls that that particular character achieved stardom by accident. Uh, she, we had a lot of pigs. I think it was for a piece that was called Planet of the Pigs when Planet of the Apes was at. And so we had a lot of pigs. And there was a chorus scene that Kermit was supposed to be conducting and trying to get all these chickens and pigs and frogs and who knows what, trying to get them to sing together. And poor Kermit was trying to get it all together. And this one pig just wouldn't hold down. She just had to sing out. Never before have two souls joined so freely. In the middle of the song, she pushed everybody aside and went down through the middle and attacked <laughs> and embraced it. And that kind of happened accidentally. It wasn't really written into it. Jane Hansen, co-creator of The Muppets, and someone you should know.